Now let's move to vasopressin after norepinephrine and there is a reason I am talking about this right after norepinephrine I'll show you in a second but without talking about all these receptors but vasopressin work right here in making the vessels narrower vasoconstriction no effect here is just here pure vasoconstrictive uh, capabilities which as we said this will increase the pressure and if anything it will cause decreased heart rate by reflex bradycardia now in clinical practice the only time we use vasopressin is to be honest in vasodilatory or distributive shock right and the main one here is septic shock so I don't recall when was last time I used it in a different indication. And listen to this, it's only add-on agent mainly to nor epi. So never use somebody with shock vasopressin on its own as a first line. It's only add-on and mainly add-on to norepinephrine and the main thing it will do it will augment nor epi effect plus it help us decrease nor epi required dose so one of the best thing we use it is usually once i get to use more 10 mcg per minute of levofed or nor epi and some weight but that's what I use once I get more than that I add vasopressin and this is in septic shock vasopressin usually septic shock dose is fixed 0.04 units it's the only vasopressor that we use units instead of mcg per minute and some hospital use 0.03 some hospital they titrate up and down start 0.1 but usually for septic shock we start on 0.04 and I tell them leave it as it is don't touch it titrate down leave of it i keep vasopressin until leave of it requirement is really low less than 10 mics or even less than five mics this is really up to you and then get rid of vasopressin and leave leave of it so it helps augment the action of norepinephrine and decrease the dose required of norepinephrine which help reduce the possible side effects remember you have to have the water without this without adequate fluid resuscitation neither vasopressin or levofed would work and remember vasopressin needs to uh, give in central line as all other vasopressin mixed with normal saline usually it can cause extravasation and the same problem and tissue necrosis so you can give fentolamine as we said in uh, levofed it can cause hyponatremia because at the end it is an adh right and also one other indication outside the shock if you don't have octreotide in your hospital you can use it for esophageal varices a bleed of course some use it to treat diabetes and syphilis but this is not our topic so that's mainly remember it's an add-on never add it on its own mainly vasodilatory shock mainly septic shock mainly a second agent add-on to nor epi it augments nor epi decrease the dose required of uh, nor epi it's a fixed dose usually 0.04 unit we don't titrate up and down and Again, I use it personally when I my leave of it require more than 10 mics, some more than I wait until 15 or 20. But the earlier the better to use it. And again, don't titrate it up and down, although some do. And I usually shut it off immediately. Now, one possible problem they said if you shut it off uh, completely, you may get hypotensive. But if you have leave of it there, it should hopefully prevent uh, that. But remember, don't titrate it down titrate leave of it down to decrease leave of requirement until it becomes less than 10 marks or even 5 marks then you can shut off vasopressin then shut off 
level fit. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.